Hey, core reporters, welcome back to my channel. You know, I honestly thought that I had already filmed this video, but when I went back to my channel to kind of look at how things were going, it turned out that I had it. So why don't we just get to it now, okay? So <laughs> it wasn't that long ago that former teen mom OG dad, Ryan Edwards, went on Instagram in a crazy rant to excuse to accuse his wife of six years. By the way, how crazy is it to you that he has been married for six years? They got married back in 2017, y'all. I never in a million years would have thought that they would have lasted this long because, again, Ryan was high out of his mind driving to their wedding. I believe he's been like really deep in the throes of his addiction all this time. He went to jail and that caused him to miss the birth of his son, Jagger. There was just so much going on that a regular woman like myself would not have put up with. Granted, I never would have married an active addict in the first place, especially like the way that like Mackenzie did, meaning that he was driving high on his way to the wedding and whatnot but I digress. So let's get into this a little bit more, okay? So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that Ryan had posted on Instagram when he was accusing his wife, Mackenzie, of cheating on him. He claimed that she was going to the bars, coming home with random men and whatnot. Like, it really was a lot. So this screenshot that you're seeing here is the time that Mackenzie deleted it on her Instagram. It took her a couple of hours to do it, but she did. So he had gone on to a Mother's Day post that Mackenzie had made a while prior, the last year. And so he said, take wife down from this, okay? I'm not proud of being married to someone that stays out in bars and goes home with other guys. Tomorrow, can't get here fast enough. Don't you know what happens when you lay with dogs? Wait, look at who I'm talking to, which is ironic, right? Considering the amount of times that Ryan cheated on this woman uh, throughout their marriage and then blaming it on my addiction. Yeah. Divorce is the right thing. So he had already threatened that he would be in the divorce lawyer's office by Monday morning. And that was last Monday. And now here we are just over a year later and nothing has happened. And instead what has happened actually is that Ryan went to the sun, which mind you pays for interviews with celebrities, which makes me wonder if that was the motivation here. I know that there were some people who suspected that perhaps they went down this route in order to drum up some anticipation for their appearance on Teen Mom Family Reunion. But now I'm taking it a step further and saying, you know, maybe they even wanted to make some money clearing up these rumors, these false allegations that they put out themselves. Maybe Mackenzie was in on it the whole time. You really never know. The truth is always stranger than fiction when it comes to public personas. OK, so the son had an exclusive interview with them again, paid paid, paid, paid. And basically he said that like, he, he messed up. I was wrong. She isn't that kind of person for a relationship. It's a work in progress. It's kind of odd to me that that's all they got out of him. If you're going to be paying the man, he better be speaking in paragraphs. This is a total of how many words now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 words is what they paid this man for. Is it a word count thing? I don't know, but that's about it. All he says is that they're working on things. It's a work in progress. And again, I'm quite stunned by this, you know, with everything that they've gone through from the very beginning, dealing with the addiction, him missing the birth of the children, him cheating publicly two times, getting caught two times. But I wouldn't be surprised if there are more times after that, et cetera, et cetera. And the way that he keeps such a tight purse string, purse string. Do you remember in the wedding episodes, like how he would ask Mackenzie at their wedding, how much they paid for the cake and everything like this guy is Ebenezer Scrooge. So I really don't understand what Mackenzie saw in him, but I digress, especially considering the fact that he's no longer on the show. Give me a second, you guys. I'm just going to read one of these comments I've got on my TikTok lives. Uh, Olivia says, Ryan was probably looking for a way out and just hooked onto the first thing he could. I wouldn't be surprised because that was another thing that I wanted to mention is that I don't believe that Mackenzie is Ryan's type. Like when she first came out, especially like these days, she's done a lot of stuff to kind of maybe more fit the mold, but her original like um, debut here, this is kind of what she was closer to like um, at the very beginning to me, this 
she doesn't look like Dallas. She doesn't look like Macy. She doesn't look like, like the other girls. I'm not saying better or worse, just completely different. Um, but this isn't even it. Remember when she would wear like the, the bob, the connect talk to the manager bob and stuff like that? It was just very far off. Um, so I, I do believe with you. I do. <laughs> I do agree with you on that front, Livia, as well. Megan says, not me catching a recording. What time is it um, there? Over here, girl, it is 12.20. Livia also says, man, Mackenzie should just dip at this point. I agree. Listen, Mackenzie, you've already been through so much with this guy. And mind you, I believe there were financial difficulties as well, because it came out that Ryan was spending up somewhere between ten dollars to $20,000 per month on heroin, like at the height of his addiction you know, um, they don't have the money to support that. They had to leave where they were living to go live in like the parents' lake house. Like there was a lot going in here. So the fact that Mackenzie has managed to hang on for this long is really quite shocking to me. I don't want to say impressive because I do think it's quite foolish when you already have a kid and you choose to walk into this sort of situation, um, eyes wide shut. But yeah, it's quite shocking to me. I, I never in a million years would have guessed that a young lady would kind of allow her life to go down this road. But again, I digress. Guys, let me know what you think about Ryan's backtracking. Does that make the allegations kind of feel any weirder or any different to you? Like I said, like to me now, knowing that they went to the son who pays these people to speak, I kind of feel like maybe they just needed some extra cash because again, Ryan blew through so much money. He blew through the, I would even estimate at least a hundred thousand dollars on his addiction, right? Um, and there was a time when he was even stealing his father's tools out of the garage to sell them. And he would remember, like, it was crazy. Like he really was desperate for money. So, um, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a situation like that. They needed some quick money. And so they went, created this little thing, frenzy, maybe again, like some of you guys said for the family reunion thing, they wanted to drum up the thing as a case for them. Uh, being asked back on to perhaps next chapter or something like that. I don't know, but something in the buttermilk ain't clean when it comes to these two. But you guys are better investigators than me. So please do make sure to leave all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.